Hello, and this is my second attempt to do wisdom from the unseen world. I am the Seafit Seer, and I'm hoping that all of you will be uh, enlightened by what I have to give you today. Many of you have come to the understanding that this is a pivotal time in Earth history to complete the understanding of this journey that we're all sharing on the planet. Uh, it did involve multiple trips through the earthly experience, uh, and now we've come to the point to use all the lessons that we've learned from all past incarnations, uh, etc. Our brains give us the awareness to see it with open eyes, and we know that we now must take the initiative, uh, initiative as well as the responsibilities of what's going on for the growth of mankind. Because of all the technology in use now, we travel on Earth and space and we connect with mass consciousness with the use of our free will so we can reach what I call the golden age compromised in love. Yes, it is possible. Um, I don't need to get so sentimental, but I opened up in the late 70s, 80s, and uh, I was so excited when Hollywood even made movies like E.T. and Alien Spaceships because that's what I followed most of my life. And you could see my library in back of me. Uh, I had every book in those early years, uh, knowing that there was something going on on the planet, but I didn't know exactly how much until a, a few years ago. And my belief is that between 2015, which we're here now, and 17, there's going to be a mass amount of changes. So um, I'm trying to help people understand, be aware, and just make note, this is my own thinking. I don't need to explain anything to anybody. You don't have to apply my demonstrations. But this is my feeling, and I'm grateful that you're here at least listening to what I have to say. Um, I feel that uh, what's going on currently is such a powerful movement and uh, many people have opened up, many people are more psychic than ever. So there is a big amount of activity going on the planet with technology, with our brains per se. So what I wanted to do today is give you one of my how-tos uh, because I've written books on how-tos which seem to work, that's what people tell me. And I'd like to give you the six steps to learn how to manifest what it is you're wanting. So step number one is proclaiming it, taking control. Clear your mind and set your sights on success and what it is that you're wanting. Let your intuition lead you to the root of your intention. Uh, just know what you want and do not settle for less. Focus on your intention and desire and basically say to yourself, this is what I want and don't deviate from that. Number two, you have to affirm what you want. So we had proclaim it, now we have affirm it. This is a process that's critical whether your intention is written or saying it out loud. Uh, or just say what you want out loud. Scream it to the rooftops if you want. Saying words out loud or writing it down is very powerful to set your intentions in motion and in place. A stated declared intention, uh, you have to shout out to the universe. This is what I want. State your needs clearly, positively, and confidentially. And now we're up to number three. Sanctify it. Well, this is a ritual you create that sanctifies your intention and gets set in your sacred place that's yours and yours alone. Uh, basically, to enhance your thoughts properly with conviction. So this could lead to a state of meditation, perhaps, uh, going in a certain sacred place in your living room, in your bedroom, in your home, uh, the certain chair that you sit on, and visualize it, dream of it, state it, yell it speak to the universe and say, this is what I'm wanting. We're up to step four now. Energize it. This is a biggie. Why I say that, 
In this step, you prepare your body, mind, and spirit to receive what you requested. You're worth it. You want to have it happen. You're raising your energy. You did it with step one, two, and three. And uh, you're raising energy towards your goal, basically, and gathering your psychic and, and your spiritual energy. So, even though energizing, uh, it implies positive action. Uh, because that's the only way that I can see it. Um, even though energies, energy uh, energy exercising could work for you, you need to learn how to breathe to get into it. Breathing puts you in an alpha state, in a state of relaxation. And so inhale and hold it to five. Exhale and hold it. And do this several times. I like to do it seven times. That really makes me out of sight, bongo. But it's up to you and how you feel. So it slows down your body in the process and it gets you ready to meditate and see visualization. So we're now up to number five. Invoke it. Proclaim it, affirm it, sanctify it, energizing. Now how do we invoke it. Well, we have to let the universe know that we're sending out a cosmic email. Tick, 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 tick. It's going up, sending a clear message through word and action. This invocation summons the power to your aid. And once you call upon it, nothing could stop it. So do your visualization meditation. We are now putting the process straight to the zero mark. And this is what we want. Number six, don't forget to give thanks for it. As I give thanks to you for even listening to me this long. Your ritual is not complete, nor is your message properly sent to the universe until uh, you give thanks to the source of your joy. Because it will happen. The very power that makes it all will happen for you. Just demonstrate it with a grateful heart. Send it out in a safe and loving way and ask for the highest good for all concerned. I do give thanks and say it is done. Well, this completes our message for today. And I need to um, give thanks to you for even listening to it. And I do wish you a very good time a good week, a good month, till the next time. Stay in touch. Bye-bye.